let's explore all of the ways to import scores into music. The main ways can be found here in the import icon. We have all the drives, Google Drive, iCloud, and Dropbox. Let's choose the Google Drive and go over it together step by step. So here I have several PDFs of a Tchaikovsky Symphony No. 6. I can import PDFs, MP3s, video files, music XMLs, text files. At the moment, I just want PDFs. You here have a select all button or deselect all. Now I just want to import the violin 2, violin 1, viola, and the full score. Here I can see it being loaded. All of them have loaded. I press next. Now I get this question. Do these files belong to the same piece? Well, in this case they do. I have here several parts of the Tchaikovsky Symphony and the full score. All of them are belonging to the same piece. If I press no, what music would do is create separate pieces. If I press yes, all of them are going to be part of the same piece. Piece name. Let's name our piece. Symphony 6. The composer, Tchaikovsky. All this data will then help me to later on find it more easily in, in my library. And now it tells me add to a set list. So, or I want to add this piece into an existing set list in which I have already in music, or I can create a new set list. For example, in the concert we're playing Symphony 6 by Tchaikovsky and Symphony 4, so then I would create a set list with these two pieces. At the moment, I want to save it into an existing set list. Tutorial videos. Important to know that it's going to be saved into this set list, tutorial videos, but it's going to also be uh, saved into your library. In your library, you have all of your pieces, regardless to the many set lists they might be saved in, they're going to be saved separately in the library. The pieces were successfully imported. Here I have the full score and the parts all in the same place, all belong to the same piece. Let's go over other ways to import your music into music. So, from your email. Long press on a PDF that's in your email and choosing copy to music. You get this question. Create a new piece or add to an existing piece. Maybe this is another part of the Tchaikovsky Symphony and I want to add it to this piece. At the moment, it is not, so I write create a new piece. And then I follow the same steps again, naming the piece, naming the composer, and choosing which set lists to save it in. Another way to import music into music can be through a different app. For example, Symphony Pro. So here is a concerto for two violins that was created inside Symphony Pro and I want to import it as XML into music. Copy to music. And again, I want to create a new piece. You have the same process, piece name and which set list to save it in. Another way to import music into music is a drag and drop feature. This is very cool. I have here also the files app and music app open together. Simple drag and drop into music. Again, the same question, create a new piece or add to existing piece. Just for the sake of it, although it's not the same piece, let's press add to an existing piece to see how it goes. Now I get a list of all of my pieces. I look for the one I want to choose. I press done. And now it's saved inside that one. So we saw how we chose several parts of the same piece and it created them into the same piece. A great thing about music is being able 
to import an XML file. An XML file can be a full score that already has within it many parts. So I'm just gonna save it here into the tutorial set list. I press done and it automatically generates all the parts. So you don't need, when you import an XML file, you don't need to import separately all of the parts. By importing the full score of the XML, it automatically generates all these parts inside music.